A lovely rotten potato. Oh, oh God, that smells awful in there. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Leads must when the devil drives. That's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. 
Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Oh, I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. No one saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Where does the fog come from? That's the answer to everything I bet. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class? The worst of it is, we did things the Germans didn't even ask us to do.
A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. And when he woke up, he realised it had all just been a bad dream. Alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's somewhere I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly, Arthur! 
sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't think I know you. Of course you know me. You got me sacked from the old current. Oh yeah. I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, top guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelene dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell, and his.
suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I, I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. It's nothing personal. Unless you have an awfully good reason, such as to blow.
I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right, now I just need that power seal. Resublimated thymotoly. The fuel of the future now. Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. disappear into those bushes. You pick what you can carry easily.
bloody hell by ya! So get out! My <laughs> always liked you, actually. I can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know this some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but... 
hard to get across the bridge? Oh, right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. So much to choose from. This will be very helpful. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. <laughs> 